Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the All Pro Abley Family Technical Tent. Now it says technical tent on the front. We'll soon find out how technical it is when we get it up. It's brand new, we've just bought it, literally just come out of the box. It's not a full review, we're just going to put it up and go through the specifics. But if you are thinking about purchasing this tent, or you already have it, whatever, then yeah, give it a watch. It might just be for you. So the tent's come. It's an all right uh, packaging bag, I guess. But when I've opened the zip, the instructions are normally in the tent, inside, and they flop out. They're not. So after a little look, I've noticed the instructions are actually on this cardboard piece of paper that just basically says what tent it is. So there it is, it's all on the back there. And that basically tells you how to put up the tent. Right, here is some of the specifics of the tent. Now, the height is 130 centimeters. That's 51.2 inches. The length is 370 centimeters. That's 145.7 inches. The width is 220 centimeters, 86.6 inches. The pack size, when it's back in the bag, if you can roll it back up like that, is 60 centimeters by 20 by 20. That's 23.6 inches by 7.8. And again, the weight of the whole tent when it's packed away is six kilograms, that's 6,000 grams. It's a freestanding tent. Now, what this means is, when you put the poles in, and you put it into the slots, it's up then, then you have the ability to move it around where you want. That's if the pegs aren't in the ground. If it's your first time that you've ever bought a tent, and this is it, I really do suggest that you pull it out in your garden or just anywhere where you've got a plain field, get it out, erect it, and then you get to see how you put it up. And when you get to the campsites or wherever you're taking it, it's going to save you a lot of time. But also, this video might help with that. So this is the tent up here, only took 8 minutes to put up, which wasn't bad I don't think. Now straight away, I quite like it, it's got the logo there, if you didn't know this already, but this stands for Outdoor Leisure Products. So this is the Alltech 5000 fabric. Guaranteed protection. It's got the rip stop, rip stop fabric and it's the tunnel design, which is fantastic. If you just want to have a little sit down in here, you can actually sit up. You've got a window here. Let's have a look. The zips seem nice. You know, they don't seem that cheap. That's the window there. It's got a nice air vent at the top. Of 
if you do. There we go. That would tie on there. Very nice. The guy ropes here. I'm not quite sure what you call that kind of system, but uh, it works anyway. It works. It's good. Let's go around here. The poles are canny. And the best thing is about these, they're very easy to pick up from like hiking and camping shops. So if anyone, like, if them break, you can easily get one replaced. Right, at the back here, you've got another window. Is that a window? No, that's an air vent. That's a big air vent. Fantastic. I, lo I love the zips. It's kind of cool. So that's the back there. It's a three-tone green colour. It's a nice height. It's just right. All the poles are the same size. Size. Uh, what I like about the feature as well here, you can adjust the ends of the tent, how tight you want it. So once all the pegs are in, and it depends on how taut you want it, you would just pull that. But you don't need it too tight, I think it just kind of depends. That's on all of them as well, as you can see there. It's on all the pegs at the bottom. Brilliant. Got a nice big window here on the side as well. Just be careful with some of the things though, because sometimes I feel like if you're too rough with it, it's going to break anyway. Now, why is that not going up there? I should be able to go straight up, it's not. Right. I think it pulls up. No, for some reason that doesn't want to go up there. Let's see what this one does. Pulling. Pulling. It's coming. Oh, it's gone right at the top. So the question is, why is this one going right at the top? There's something inside here. I must be stopping it. Is it the stitching or what? Doesn't sound good, that. Let's have another go. Let's have another go. There we go. I've got it up there. I've got it up. I've got it up. That's a door on the side. That's a door. There we go. Huge. So that's that. That's the out bit. And also, another fantastic little touch is it comes with these poles that go on the front here so it would keep this up. I'll show you. So there we go, that would keep this up. Obviously you have two, so when this is, when you're sat in your tent and you're chilled, yeah, you've got two of them. You would have to maybe tie the top bit with another guy rope like, because that would go, that'll just get blown down by the wind. But yeah, right, let's get the inner bit in. Right, so we're inside the tent now. Uh, this is the, the vestibule where we sat in here. And here is gonna be the sleeping quarters. Now, straight away, this feels absolutely class. Really nice material. Unfold this. Find the door at the front. It's white. I've just put the corner bit in there. Fantastic. It's a buckle. So rather than having to fart on getting it strapped in by a hoop and grapple thing, you know, it's just a buckle. Click in. Really simple. Now, what I do recommend is you always start from the center. So I've connected both sides there. Put the one up in the middle. Find that one. There we are. So now we know that's the center and you'll start from there. Right, so we're in the sleeping quarters now and it's absolutely massive. I've got a three-man Bergauch Kergon tent. 
and I don't think it's as big as this. This is a two-man tent. So I'll, I'll just give you a quick little tour here. So you can clearly see, I'll put this in the corner. Right over this side. My legs are fully stretched out. So I'm going your heads in the way. My legs are fully stretched out there. I'm going to lie down. My head's there. This is going to be flapping on my head a bit like. That might be a little bit annoying. But you can stretch it out on the sides here at the back. So that's also got a pull cord where you can make this dead taut at the back. Some stitching here that's off. But that's the only really fault I've seen in here so far. Apart from that, I like it. It's got plenty of pockets. It's got pockets the whole entire way. See here, look. From there, all the way along, that's pockets. White is a bit of a weird colour because it's going to get dirty pretty quickly. Right? Ruby's just stood on that, my dog, and straight away there's a, there's a paw print on. So, yeah. Yeah, this seems happy, this. Very big. This is like a square, almost. It's humongous, so yeah. I think if you're over six foot, mind, you're going to struggle. You might have to sleep diagonal. If you're over six foot. I'm just short of six foot. And I'm just in there. Shoes off. All right. So, so far, it's a Cali 10 for the price. We paid £95. I've currently seen it for 115 I think it is. That's on Amazon. But you can go on the Old Pro website and you might get a discount there. But it's a budget tent, so don't expect to get a Berghaus Kergon kind of style thing. Because you won't. It's a, it's a budget tent. It's going to do you. Yeah. But if you're not wanting to spend a lot of money, this is it. So get yourself on Amazon. It's got two hooks for lanterns. One here and one in the vestibule. It's just an ideal tent. Plus, some campsites, they charge you by the size of your tent. Now you can take this on and say, no, no, it's a two-man tent. You can only charge us for a two-man tent. And you can get away with it. You can sit in and if, it's, if the weather's crap, there's plenty of room here for two people to sit down, play card games, whatever, get pissed, whatever you want to do. Plenty of room. Right, this is just to give you a bit of a heads up of the height. I'm sat here on a regular sized camping chair. I'm inside, I'm comfortable. I'm almost near the side actually. My head touching. So my head's touching there at the side. A bit further in. There, that's perfect. Easy to get two people in here with all your stuff here. From, maybe there's even a little camping table. Remember, this will go out so you've got the poles there. View. Mint. It's class. Now, I can't tell you what it's like in wind or rain. This is just a quick video of how the tent looks and what you're going to expect when you get it. I like it. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. I, I hope I've said plenty of detail to help you make your mind up if you want to or not. But there's not many things I can really complain about it. There is part of the tent does feel like it's, you can tell it's a budget tent. But the zips in that, you know, they stitched in really well. And the stitching does seem excellent within the tent itself. So what I do recommend is, if you get some fab sill, just go down all the stitching, all the seams on the outside, and then you're going to have that extra protection. Also, it protects your tent from the sun. Right, I'm going to take the tent down now. Um, I'm going to leave the inner bit in, because this is my mum's tent. She's bought it. Now, she'll hate us for saying this, but she's getting on. She's in the 60s, lower 60s, and she was struggling in getting in and out the tent on the low profile tents. You know, the Euro Hike Backpacker DLX. If you want to watch that video, it's up here there. Um, but yeah, so I, I saw this tent and I sent her the, the link and she's looked at it and immediately she's bought it. So she said, right, can you do a um, review on it? So she's been in herself, she's had a look, she's happy with it. 
Because she uh, she likes going camping by herself. It's class. It's more it's more than big enough for one person. But it's a high tent. It's ideal. You can sit down. So you're not bent over all the time. It's brilliant. I would definitely recommend this tent if you want a budget and you just want to get out for the weekend. Nothing too serious. It's just class. Right now, before you take the tent down, what I suggest is that you make sure that all the zips are zipped up, it's tight, before you pack it away because when everything's tight and it's tucked in, you know that there's going to be no damage when you take it out next time.